In this video, we will learn how to prepare a salary sheet of a company or of an institution. Okay. Uh, if you take uh, a person's salary, uh, in that salary there will be uh, several components involved in it. Okay, several components involved in it. Let's see. So we will create a worksheet uh, which, which includes uh, employment number, employment name, basic pay, traveling allowance, dearness allowance, house rent allowance, income tax, provident fund and net pay. Okay, using some appropriate uh, formulas, so we will prepare this uh, salary sheet. Okay. Now coming to the basic pay, this basic pay mainly depends on the uh, category of the work. Category of the work. For example, if I take uh, an example of a institution or a college, means uh, in a college means uh, there will be different category of employees. Okay. Initially, the attender will be there. After attender. Uh, there will be an instructor, lab instructor, uh, above the lab instructor there will be assistant professor, then over and above uh, that uh, there will be uh, associate professor, professor and head of the department will be there, principal will be there. Like this, uh, this basic pay will be decided depending upon the category of the uh, work. Okay, it depends on the category of the work. Now let us uh, divide uh, this basic pay into three different categories for initially I will take 20,000 20, for few members ok for few members I will fix uh, basic pay as 30,000 and for few more members we will take the basic pay as 40,000 40,000 Okay. Now coming to the traveling allowance, uh, if uh, uh, the employee of a company or institution uh, is sent for uh, different places on office duty, okay, so that traveling allowance we have to give, that traveling allowance will be given by uh, the company or the institution. Okay. If the, if the traveling is involved uh, in a work, okay, in a job, then the traveling allowance will be given to the employee, okay. And this traveling allowance is fixed as uh, some percentage of uh, basic pay, okay. Traveling allowance will be fixed as some percentage of basic pay. Let us take this as around eight uh, percent, okay, eight percent of basic pay, eight percent of basic pay. Now for 20,000 is a basic pay uh, for one of the employee, okay, 8% of 20,000 means, so here I will calculate that answer is equal to, is equal to 20,000 into, into 8%, you type 8%, type is equal to, it will be calculated, 1,600, 1,600. Now let me calculate uh, the traveling allowance for all remaining employee, employees. Yes, now it is calculated. So next salary component is dearness allowance. Simply we will call it as DA. DA. And this uh, DA is given for the employees to compensate the inflation. Means increase in the rates. Okay, increase in the uh, living cost on daily basis. Okay, and it will be changed year, year to year. Every year uh, this dearness uh, allowance will be fixed. Okay, so it is given to compensate the inflation in the rates. Okay, uh, to compensate uh, the increase in the living cost. Okay, to uh, to compensate increase in the material cost, etc. Okay, to compensate that inflation, uh, that this dearness uh, allowance will be given, and every year it will be changed. Okay. Now DA, let me take this as around. 80 percent okay usually it will be more it will be more this da will be more okay sometimes it will be more than 100 percent as well it depends on the locality as well if you are staying in uh, some metropolitan city there uh, the da will be given more even the hra okay 
Oh, here let me calculate uh, dearness allowance or DA for uh, as 80% of this basic pay. So, here type is equal to 20,000 into 80%. 80%. Yes, it is calculated. Just double click here for all, for all other uh, employees, it will be calculated. Next, coming to the house rent allowance. House rent allowance. House rent allowance will be given for every employee. Let me take this copy. Next, usually the house rent allowance will be given as 10% of basic pay. Okay. Normally, it, it is given as 10% of basic pay. Again, it, as I said before, it depends on the, the location where you are staying. Okay. 10% of basic pay. We will calculate 10% of basic pay is equal to 20,000 into 10%. 10%. Yes, it is calculated. Okay. Now, we will calculate the gross salary. We will calculate the gross salary. Let me insert one new column here. Gross salary. Gross salary. Okay. Gross salary. Gross salary means the total. Total of basic pay, travelling allowance, dearness allowance and house rent allowance is equal to sum of sum of sum of so all these numbers yes so this is a gross salary for all, all the employees now as an employee or as a business person always uh, uh, the income tax to be paid to the government usually that income income tax will be uh, around 10 percent okay it, again it depends on the salary which you are drawing okay now i will fix so income tax to be paid as around 10 percent okay whatever the gross salary you are getting in in the total gross salary you have to pay and income tax some percentage of gross salary you have to pay okay i will fix just this income tax as uh, 10% uh, of the gross salary. Okay. 10% of gross salary. Okay. Let me calculate income tax as 10% of gross salary into 10%. Yes, income tax is calculated. Coming to the provident fund. Okay, PF will be cut in your salary usually uh, on, on every month and after your retirement you will get back this uh, provident fund amount. Okay, monthly you will, you will receive some amount. Okay, provident fund uh, uh, usually it will be around, uh, let us fix this. Okay, around, uh, let me fix this as uh, around 10 percent only. Okay, 10 percent of gross salary only I will fix. So, here is equal to this multiplied by gross salary multiplied by 10 percent. Yes. Now, gross salary is for a for first person or first, for first employee the gross salary is 39,600. Income tax in that income tax is the 3960 and provident fund uh, to be deducted is 3960. So, the net pay that you get for your account, salary account will be how much is equal to gross salary minus minus income tax minus provident fund. Okay, this is the net salary that you get for your salary account. Okay, this is the net salary. Okay. So, for this, uh, you can uh, repair the graph, okay, or the chart, whatever you want. Okay. Whatever you want, you can repair. Okay. Let me prepare one chart for this. Insert um, chart. Uh, 
okay chart title is salary salary then here uh, in the x axis right click here select data go to select data uh, So here for series, let me edit. Salary is automatically taken. Okay. Data range is okay. So here label axis label I'll take as name all the names I'll take. Now all the name is appearing and corresponding salary is also appearing. In the series, what you have to do? Click on series. Okay. Series name is salary. Salary and you select the salary it is already by default it is selected say so, okay okay next means this is y axis in the x axis all the names you have to select already i have selected before like this you need to select all the names say so, okay okay now it is coming okay so further if you want to modify this graph you can modify however you want okay let me enlarge this then you can add data labels ok like this then chart title also you can add above chart salary sheet let me edit it as salary salary sheet then uh, what else is there you can give uh, axis titles in the horizontal name of employee name of employee then vertical uh, it is salary or net salary net salary Okay. Then you can further modify, you can change the color as well. Okay. Like this. You can color, you can change the color also. However, you want, you can change the color. Then you can even change the layout as well. Okay, like this. You can change the layout also let me keep this layout yes ok so whatever the layout type of layout you want that you can change okay, here it is there, that option ok So this is uh, uh, about creating the salary sheet and creating the chart for the salary sheet. Okay. Thank you.